hello viewers my name is Ehioma Margaret Osi and this is my first YouTube video I'm super super excited to be doing this I am the owner of Bright and Glory Bridal Boutique located at number 16 of Baby Road in Keja, Lagos I have been in the bridal industry for over four years and so far I have successfully connected over 200 brides with their dream wedding dress I absolutely love what I do nothing else gives me happiness other than seeing the look on the bride's face when she finally says yes to the dress so what should you expect from my video going forward uh, i will be sharing everything that has to do with a bride and her dress i'll be sharing tips on how to pick the best wedding dress on how to the best accessories to pair up with your uh, wedding dress um, how to get cheaper deals basically everything that has to do with a bride and her wedding dress so please stay with me welcome back so on today's episode we will start with um, this topic um, what are the basic things you need to know before you go wedding dress shop now I chose this topic to start with because basically the minute the love of your life proposes this is the first place you should start from you need to know what to do or what to expect when you go wedding dress shopping so the very first thing you should do is uh, your research you should find out the kind of dress you would love to wear, the kind of dress that you think would suit your body type. Check the internet, there are tons of information out there. Check Pinterest, you'll find really beautiful pictures. On um, Just save them on your mobile phone when you're walking to a bridal shop. Just show them these pictures of um, of what you have on your phone so they can be guided and they would know how, to, how best to, to assist you. Also find out from your church. If they have any requirement or any restriction on the kind of dress that you should wear I know this sounds ridiculous but this is really important because you don't want to start running health as get a few weeks to your wedding because your um, church rejected your your dress maybe because it has a train or something and also maybe check with your mother or check with your mother-in-law your husband whoever if you think your opinion is actually important if you if you believe it's not then scrap it this information is not for you because there's nothing like a dress is too expensive or it's too cheap it basically has to do with what you can afford and if you can any amount you can afford own it with your chest don't let anybody money shame you right so if you go into a bridal shop and the bridal comes out and ask you what is your budget now this is not a trick question they're not trying to upsell you a dress or they're not trying to make a dress more expensive they're just trying to know the best dresses to recommend for you. You do not want us to fit you into a dress cost 450000 and your budget is 150000 At the end of the day, now it even gets more interesting because you fall in love with this dress worth 450000 but then you cannot afford it. You end up going with something else and then you're not happy, you're miserable because you're settling. And when it comes to wedding dresses, there's nothing like settling. Settling doesn't, doesn't work. We need you to totally fall in love with your wedding dress so this is the reason why it's important for you to be very honest about your budget and also if you're really on a very very tight budget if you're walking to a bridal shop you can ask them for their sales session you will be surprised at the amazing things that you would actually find um there don't forget like the, the pop, like everyone says you don't judge a book by its cover you never judge a dress on a hanger because you would only see the beauty of the dress when you actually wear it so it doesn't matter if Ronke bought her wedding dress for for one million and your wedding dress is hundred thousand it doesn't matter as long as you look beautiful and you totally love your yourself in the dress and you can envision yourself walking down the aisle in your dress then that dress is for you when it comes to buying of wedding dresses the getting your money back is not a thing so don't don't be one of those brides who's going to say oh you know what i can buy this dress for this amount and i can sell it for this amount trust me getting your money back when you buy a wedding dress is not a thing even if the bridal shops offer you deals of oh you know you can bring your dress back and we can buy it most times they would buy it back for less than half of the cost price of the dress so this is also one reason why you should buy something that you can comfortably afford Please, this next point, I should have made it the first point. When you're going wedding dress shopping, keep your makeup to the minimum. If possible, do not even wear any makeup. You see, the foundation and the lipstick, those stuff, they are really notorious. They get on the dresses. You can, it's almost difficult to, it's very difficult to, to wipe them off. 
so it would be nice actually if you keep your makeup down to the um down to the very minimum how many bridal entourage should you bring when you go wedding dress shopping <sighs> please don't bring the whole world with you it is not written anywhere nobody says a, a bride cannot go wedding dress shopping alone if you want to bring just bring like one or two people bring people who are going to be helpful bring people who will make the entire process completely fun for you and you know sometimes you'll find a bride's friend who's gonna say oh if i'm the one i'm never going to wear that dress newsflash it's not your wedding nobody cares what you think don't bring those kind of people you don't need those people around you you know just bring one or two people you don't need to bring your your sister-in-law you don't need to bring mama marachi who lives next door nobody really cares about those people just make keep the crowd as um as minimum as possible the bridal comes out and they try their best to give you customized and tailored service but if we have to struggle to hear you and miss 20 other people who are trying to air their views and their opinions then we can easily miss what you want and it serves no purpose it doesn't help anybody so please keep your brother entourage as minimum as possible we are reasonable and sensible underwear really i don't have to talk about this right and you will be moving from dress to dress really quickly you don't have um, time to really cover up yourself and all that if i would suggest um please you can just wear a leggings or a tight and um a strapless bra this works like magic because it's easily it aids you to move from dress to dress really quickly but if you're the type who feels a little bit awkward um with exposing yourself around people who you who you don't know so well um please inform the brother inform, inform your brother consultants they most brother shops have robes it could give you something to throw on while you wear your dress but do not think any bridal shop is going to allow you fit your wedding dress alone it's it's not going to work because this is probably your first time of going wedding dress shopping so even if they leave you to do it you may not even be able to do it on your own not everybody cries you will not cry when you find your wedding dress and it's okay if you don't cry you are normal there's nothing there's, there's nothing abnormal there's nothing wrong with that um, your your bridal trains or your your supporters club or your fan or your cheerleaders don't have to cry when you come out with your wedding dress it doesn't mean your dress is not beautiful it doesn't mean you don't love your dress it just means you're not a crier and it's fine most bridal shops have fitting fees it would be nice to check with them and also check with your bridal consultant before you take pictures of dress so bridal shops do not allow it it is okay if you say you know what i don't want to make my decision right now i want to check other bridal shops or i want to sleep over it i know the entire wedding dress shopping process can be very very exhausting don't let anybody put you under any form of pressure the wedding dress you should buy is the one that makes you feel like the most beautiful girl in the entire world so take your time tell them if you need some time tell them okay i'm gonna take some time and um I would actually come back later finally let me ask you this question after you've made the love of your life and uh, he proposed do you still keep searching you stop searching right so why do you think it's okay to keep going from bridal shop to bridal shop even after you have found a dress and you have paid for it it doesn't make any sense you're just setting up yourself for heartbreak sincerely most bridal shops will not refund any money for you if you feel tempted to keep going to different bridal shops just remind yourself the reason why you fell in love with this dress remember the lace remember the fitting remember how you felt you know that should keep you going but don't keep going from bridal shop to bridal shop because the world will never run out of beautiful wedding dresses so the more wedding dress shops you go to the more beautiful dresses you would find it's just about contentment just be happy with what you have um, with what you found but the most important thing in, in all of this is for you to have fun if you're not having fun then you're not doing it right if you're not having fun then you're not in the right bridal shop so um go to only places that make you feel um, really beautiful and that make you enjoy the entire process we've come to the end of today's episode i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope this few tips i've shared um will be helpful will be useful to um and bright to be and if you have any question or if there's any topic that you would want me to talk about please feel free to leave it in the comment section 
I'll be more than happy to do that. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye.